Yeah, last night when oh, the yeah. band was, was playing. Great night, there right? There was some amazing yeah. art going on there on the stage. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so what we've been, my, my company Think Experience, which is part of Think of NFT, we, we've been in the immersive entertainment space, right, for quite a while because we found that, you know, as, as an artist, what can you sell? You can't sell music anymore, right? Right. There's no place to sell it. Where are you going to sell it? There's no money. You get streaming, but which is a horrible business model for those guys. So I realized that what you can sell is the relationship and the experience. Mm -hmm. So I've been really focused on the experience side of things. So we've been playing in over here today, which is the place we played. We've done about almost 50, 60 shows inside this Wisdom, which is a 360 degree immersive right. dome. Well, what I'm, what I'm, part of what we do is I bring these great artists and painters and they paint while we play. Right. And so we're gonna actually take those, uh, those were then captured and now we're minting them as NFTs for that night. But yeah, we had the great Norton Wisdom who is, you know, legendary uh, live painter. He's painted with everybody from the dead. I think the Stones, and you know, he comes up on stage and he paints. And what's cool about what he does is he paints the painting and then it morphs. It never stays the right. same. He paints one and then next thing he changes it like with his hands and he starts moving the paint around. Very so sort it's of very Buddhist. Just, it's just, like, just it's destroy just, and start over. Yeah. Right? So what yeah. he hears, he always jams with the yeah. band. You know, yeah. so he makes some really cool paintings. So we had him and a couple other painters painting that night. And um, you know, remember the old idea is, is how do I you know, make it an experience for people. Yeah. And so people then can capture this experience. Now they can go buy the NFT of that one particular thing. Right. They can also, it's tied into merch, so they can get their NFT, that's also get a shirt that gets delivered to them at yeah. the same time. Yeah. So we're working on ways of really kind of, how do we kind of monetize for the artist, but also give the fans something that they can own and have for stuff. So yeah. last night when the band was on stage, you yeah. have the painter, and I was thinking, you know, flashback to Andrew War uh, Andy Warhol factory right. days, right, where you would have that same type of thing. It's almost like it disappeared for 50 years. Here it's coming back. Oh, and now we have the NFT element that we can wrap around. It's yeah. amazing that we have a, a whole other dimension. Right, and you know, besides that, what we're doing is uh, Nifty Tunes. So Bob, uh, Bob um, uh, he goes by Basie Bob, he's a big time producer, produced, you know, two time Grammy, uh, two time Grammy winner, Academy Award nominated guy, started a company and I've been working with him on, it's called, what they do is we've been jamming to loops, so we play on top of the loops, but they're bringing up incredible classic NFTs so like you could have a board ape and they nice. do all this stuff to it and yeah. visualize it. We're jamming and then we mint it in real time. So we're gonna be doing that tonight too, back in the room. So cool. we actually creating some new derivative works and, and uh, minting this stuff in real time. So yeah, it's really a lot of fun. But yeah, we had a blast, lab blast last night. The place was hopping, right? Yeah, yeah, hopping. Yeah. It brought back a lot of memories for me. All right, good, yeah. yeah. There's again. nothing like Floyd music. I mean, it's no, so classic, really right? Not. There's really not. I mean, us and them, every time I hear that song, it does something to well, that's me. one of my it does favorite. To a lot of us, well, that's yeah. one of my favorite ones because that's a lot of saxophone. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> you know, so I used to love doing that. You know, yeah. funny story is I used to when we were out with Floyd, right? They had this light, a big light right behind me, right? And so every time I'd go in and I'd go, go in for us and them, they would take that light on my solo and they would blast it, right? Uh -huh. And I'd be like, this light thing from behind, right? And just right. say, but people were looking at me this way, but against the back of the stadium, it was like one of these things. You know how when you're doing this, I could see myself because my shadow was on massive on the back right. of the stadium. And I'd sit there and I'd like make all these shapes. So I was like going like this. Nice. It was the funniest thing. Nobody ever saw it except for me. You know, because I would be this massive thing because of that light on the scene. So I always thought that was funny because it was, was crazy looking. That was a blast, and and to hear money. And most people don't realize mm. the song is in seven, eight times. Oh, that's and right. And you never real. And, and if you're not a musician, it just sort of goes over yep. your head. But that's not easy to put to you know pull off. Maybe it's an odd time, yeah. For, for, for a few measures, but just consistently to keep that seven, eight going through. Yeah, it's the, funny because most people, it's, you know. How do you dance to one, two, three, four, right. five, six, seven, one, two, three, instead of one. Do you two, break three, it up three or four, or four or three? Like, it's, it depends how your, I think, your body breaks yeah, it's just, up. Well, it's, yeah, it's how the melody kind of makes it, breaks right, it up, yeah. Right, right, fascinating. Thank you so much. Yep. This was a, All right, buddy. This was Good, great thank you very much for having me. Yeah. All right.